Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Joe Flash, and welcome back to some more Injustice Gods Among Us for the Wii U. Let's go ahead and press start, as we're about to continue back where we left off playing classic battles on very easy difficulty with all the characters. Now, before I get into the next... Now, basically, in this video, we're going to be playing as the last superhero character that's playable for classic battles, or any of the battles, or, or any of the, the character roster, you know what I'm saying, but we're about to play the final superhero that's available for the roster in this game before we start moving on to all the supervillain characters, so this will be the last superhero character we'll play as for classic battles and very easy before we start moving on to the supervillains. Now before, let me just go ahead and click battles, because I don't want it to go back to the menu while I'm talking about this that I have to say. So before I get into it, there's something I need to address real quick before I get into the hero that I'm going to be playing as in this video. If you see my last video with Raven, then you probably already know who it is, but I need to speak about something. So, I've been enjoying making these videos for the past few weeks, but there's been a bit, a bit, of, a bit of a problem. See, when I make these gameplay videos, they take up more memory and use up more gigabytes on my, on my phone, and as well as posting on my channel than compared to when I make reaction videos. Because I'm using my actual camera from my phone to film these videos for the gameplay videos, it takes up more memory and space to use than compared to what I use for the recorder for my reaction videos. So, each video that I've been making to upload onto my channel relating to gameplay, it's been ta or any video relating to anything using my actual camera has been taking longer and longer and longer to upload. So when I first started doing the gameplay videos, like when I did with Superman and Batman, for example, as well as even made the two Cards Against Humanity videos when I was with my friends for a watch party, they were kind of decent. They still took some time to upload, but they, they were decent, despite them only being 26 minutes. But however, because I've been doing this almost straight back to back for the past couple weeks, the videos that I've been uploading onto my channel, these gameplay videos of me playing through classic battles very easy with all these characters, the videos have been taking longer and longer and longer to upload, and I'm not even joking. The videos have been going slower and slower and slower. Like, they're still able to upload onto my channel, but they're taking longer to upload. And this is going to shock you, and I'm not even joking when I'm about to tell you this part, but when I made my last video with Raven, when I uploaded that onto my channel at about approximately close to around 4 or 5 in the afternoon, when I uploaded it on my channel, you're not going to believe how long it took for it to upload. Like I said, I, I uploaded it at, I started uploading the video at 4 or 5 in the afternoon on that day when it was uploaded. And it took about, get this, 10 hours to upload. And I'm not joking. And so that's the good thing about videos being uploaded on your channel. Like you have the notification bell re receiving, you know, you have a notification receiving that your video is uploading. It keeps up with the time on how long it takes for it to upload. And that's how long it took for the video to upload. Ten hours. It took almost the rest of the day as well as in the middle of midnight. And it probably may have uploaded on my channel about approximately four or five in the middle of midnight if it took ten hours. That was ridiculous. And when I found that out, because I even did stay up late a bit at night as well. I stayed up till like two at midnight that night. It was getting ridiculous on just the how much the hours kept going by and by and by in relation to how long it was taking for the video to upload, and it was getting pretty annoying. It really was. Like, I was shocked. I was. So, with that regarding knowing that my videos are taking longer to upload onto my channel, this has made me decide to make a decision on something that I didn't really want to have to do, or really was not even planning on it because I didn't... Because at this point in time, you know, I don't have a lot of days of working, you know, or I can still be available even when I do have days to work. But since I'm not nearly as busy as I used to be now that I'm not in college and high school and stuff like that anymore, I'm usually more active, which is why I decided to get back onto my channel. But, however, with these gameplay videos becoming a bit of an issue with how long they're taking to upload onto my channel and because of the gigabytes and more like that... I've decided to take a little bit of a break from these, so I'm only going to be off, so after I get done with this video here, I'm probably going to take only about probably three days off of making these videos, just so I can see if my camera and phone will take a heal, because I need it to chill, like I need to give it some rest to see if it'll do better if I let it rest for a few days before I upload again, so after this video y'all, I'm going to be out for about three days just to give it some time to rest and heal and see if that works, and then when we get into the next video after th in three days, so like in three days I'll make another gameplay video when I think it's done healed, I'll try it again to see what happens, and that's when we get into our first super villain character to play as for this game, so I just thought I'd let y'all know that I'll be taking three days off after I get done with this video, so I'm sorry that I had to address that, but 
I need to let this camera heal just to see if perhaps maybe it'll help with my phone, maybe to chill out a bit and all that stuff. And when I do make the next video in three days, when I start with my super, first super villain character, if it still does it after three days, then I might have to take a week off because it may just need longer to heal. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if it's really going to work, but I'm just trying to attempt to try to get my camera to, you know, restore, you know what I mean? And more like that, give it time to rest. So if my video still continues to take long to upload in three days when I make the first super villain video, I'm going to let it rest for about a week and then I'll come back in a week to see if that works. I'll also address it in the next video as well. So that way y'all will know what's happening and what's going on and what I'm doing and stuff. So I got everything out of the way. So y'all now know that after this video, I'll be taking three days off just to let my camera and phone heal just to see if it'll, if it'll maybe do better if I let it rest for a little bit before I start filming again. So there you go. Enough said. So anyway, let's go ahead and now get into classic battles. It took me a bit of time for me to explain everything there, but I thought I'd get that out of the way first, so here we go. I'll probably put it in, this, in the description as well, but I'm not sure. But anyway, so we've, complete, we've completed classic battles on very easy difficulty with almost every superhero character. So we've done Batman, Nightwing, The Flash, Cyborg, Green Arrow, Superman, Wonder Woman... Aquaman, Raven, Shazam, and Green Lantern. But the only superhero we have not done yet is Hot Girl. Now, I did ask about Hot Girl in one of my previous videos about knowing which one this is because there are two different Hot Girls. There's the original Hot Girl who, I forgot her name, but she was the original Hot Girl who married Hawk Man. And when she grew up, she became Hawk Woman and then uh, a different, like, a different a different female became the next hot girl but her costume is different compared to the original one so i was just curious to wonder in which hot girl this was i searched i forgot the names of them but i do am familiar with knowing which one it is which and if you go into the bonuses bonus features you know into that room whatever you can actually get the character info and in regarding about who their real name is and so when i searched up hot girls uh, info in the bonus features and stuff like that and the unlockables it gave me the information on who this was, and this was obviously the original Hawk Girl. So, this is the original Hawk Girl, the original person who donned the superhero persona, who would then marry Hawkman, and then grew up to become Hawk Woman, and then the other, the next person, who I think went by the name Kendra something. I think that was her name, but she became the next Hawk Girl. So, this is the original Hawk Girl. I was right. I had a feeling this had to be the original Hawk Girl, just because of the mask design and the costume and more like that. Since this is what. The original Hawk Girl's costume was kind of mostly known for, you know what I'm saying? So, I was right. But anyway, Hawk Girl is the last superhero we have to play as before we start moving into all the supervillains here onto the right. Now, Hawk Girl is my least favorite superhero to play as in the superhero roster of this game. She's the character I don't really have too much interest in wanting to learn to play as at all. She's my least favorite. I don't even know what her moves are. I don't play as her that much either, so I'm not familiar with this character. Um, I just wasn't really too sure if I really enjoyed her myself when I played as her. I mean, she had some okay and decent moves, but I wasn't finding her nearly as fun as some of the other characters, you know what I'm saying? So, that's one of the main fewest reasons I don't have too much interest in wanting to play as Hawker. I just didn't, I don't think she sucks, it's just, I didn't find her as entertaining as some of the other characters, so, that's kind of one of the fewest reasons, but, overall, she's okay. She's not the worst, but she's okay, you know, but... I'll do my best to try my best playing as her. I mean, then again, we're playing it on very easy, so at least I'll be able to get to decent to learning her moves and stuff, so this might take me a bit of a while for maybe to complete with her, but who knows. But let's go ahead and click on her. And I'm just going to go ahead and press the A button because, I mean, she, I do got her regime alternate costume, but I'm just going to stick to her in her normal costume, so obviously this is our world hot girl. The Regine costume is pretty cool, it's a bit different, she's got a different costume and mask on, as well as also a different hammer design, and she even has her, like, red hair sticking out as well, I think it's still, I'm pretty sure it is still the original person betraying Hawkgirl, she just changed her look in the Injustice world, but even that's cool too, but I just still prefer the original Hawkgirl look here, because this is just how I always have seen Hawkgirl since, like, day one when I discovered her in a DC universe, so I have to stick to her in her original outfit, because this is just the way I see Hawk Girl. Plus, I'm still more used to the original Hawk Girl anyway than compared to the new one, so let's just go ahead and just press A button and select her in our normal costume, Our World's Hawk Girl. So anyway, we're going to go very easy as usual, so here we go, guys. Injustice Gods Among Us for the Wii U, classic battles on very easy difficulty. 
with Hawk Girl. The original Hawk Girl, should I say. Let's do it. So I don't know how long it's going to take for me to complete this here with Hot Girl. I probably feel it shouldn't since a lot of the characters I've been playing as, it hasn't really taken me too long to complete. But since Hot Girl is my least favorite superhero to play as, and I don't play as her very often, I'm curious to wonder how this may take. Now I do remember that one of her special abilities, when you press the A button you get a power move with characters and something different happens for each character. I do remember that if you press the A button with Hot Girl when you're on the ground, you can actually make her fly. So she can actually fly, so you usually do fight on the ground, of course, like every other character, but if you press the A button with Hawk Girl, you can actually make her fly, which I'll show you. Time to bring the hammer down, eh? Ooh, Regime Raven. This was the costume I was playing as with Raven in the last video, nice. So she can f glide in the air a little bit, as you can see, because she got wings. But yeah, so... So she's pretty decent to play as in a bit, but like I said, everything else I'm just... So she's got some okay moves, but there's just not really too much I'm really interested in wanting to learn this character that much, you know what I'm saying? So what else does she have? I'm trying to learn her special moves, sorry. Oh, she's got a wing evade move, that's cool. You can press back with the wing and you can just evade your opponent. Oh, that was cool. And she is actually pretty strong, surprisingly, Hawk Girl. Now, I don't know if her special moves change if I fly with her, so watch this. If I press the A button, you can fly with Hawk Girl. Check it out. How cool is that? You can, But you can land on the ground. You don't even have to press A. You can actually just drop to the ground. But look how cool that is. It's pretty cool, isn't it? She won't even let me in the air. I don't know if you can perform special moves in the air with Hot Girl. Oh, you can. Okay, you can. Um, let me try another one. So yeah, they're performed just a little bit differently when you're on the ground. But I'm going to perform her special move, though, however. I need to show you the special move. Kind of surprised I get to show it off right out of the bait, right out of the gate, since this was the very first opponent we're fighting again. So it's kind of hard to believe I got to perform my special perform my special move on my first opponent, because usually I don't get to show y'all the special moves with the characters until later. So I'm surprised I got to show y'all now. Kind of a lucky guy that I get to perform the super move this early with my first opponent instead of later like most of the other characters. Then again, I kind of was stalling around there trying to perform the special moves, so that was another exception. But anyway, Raven was our first opponent taken care of. Now our second opponent is Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn is pretty good. I would probably like to learn to play as her. I have a torn tie between either it's learning to play more of her or the Joker, because her and the Joker are a bit similar but different, you know what I mean? So, it's a tie between either Harley Quinn or Joker as my favorite supervillain in this game. They're really a bit tied for me, so it's really hard for me to select which one I may want to play as more, because they're both pretty good. I like them both. Not to even mention Harley Quinn is voiced by Tara Strong in this game. I don't know if I mentioned that in one of my previous videos or not, but Tara Strong provides the voice for Harley Quinn in this game, which is great. I like Tara Strong. She's probably my favorite female voice actress. If you guys have seen my video from last year when I checked out all of Tara Strong's voice voice roles over the years when I celebrated her late when I celebrated her birthday like that last year, that's how I celebrated Tara Strong's birthday last year by going through all her voice roles she's done over the years and my, my three personal favorite voice roles she's done was Harley Quinn, Twilight Sparkle from My Little Pony, Quest Your Girls, and Raven from Teen Titans. I think I don't know if she provides the voice of Raven in this game. I think she does. I'm not positively sure. I don't remember if it did say that Tara Strong is the voice of Raven in this game or not, because the voice is a bit different compared to the Teen Titans voice, so... I don't know. I really actually do not know. So I really do not have a clue. I really don't have a clue. So, yeah, I'll probably look it up maybe later, but I think I, it did say she actually does provide the voice of Raven in this game, but I just can't remember. Anyway, I'm going to try my special move on Harley Quinn. Super move, should I say. That's why I was evading, because I was trying to perform super special moves to charge it up. Now, to be fair, Hawk Girl's super move isn't really exactly that good, to be honest. You saw that all she does is just whacks a peep her opponent in the face two times with her hammer, and then they just drop. 
it's cool that it's in the air, but the fact that she only just does two attacks with her hammer on the face of the opponent and doesn't do anything else, it's kind of just a boring super move in a way, so I don't really like it that much, to be honest with y'all. Hot Girl's super move is kind of lame in this game. Not as bad. I don't think it's as bad as Harley Quinn's, but it's still not that good, though, so I have to be honest with y'all about that. But anyway, it's just good to hear Tara Strong's voice in this game, you know, her voicing Harley Quinn, and if it is, Raven as well. Because I think it might have said she is the voice of Raven in this game, they just obviously had her voice a bit different compared to the Teen Titans version of her voice that she's infamous for, you know what I mean? But I don't know. I'll have to probably look that up on Google just to find out and make sure. Or I could even look back in my video, checking out the voice lines where I get to Raven and see if maybe if it did bring up Injustice Gods Among Us Raven to see if she did provide the voice. I could be wrong or I could be right. I don't know, okay? I really do not remember. But anyway. Or if y'all know down below, if you guys know the voice casting, you can let me know in the comments down below if you know if Tara Strong voiced Raven in this game or not. I know she obviously did voice Harley Quinn, but did she voice Raven as well in this game as well? Let me know in the comments down below if you know that or not. Wouldn't hurt for y'all to let me know in the comments if y'all want to help me out. So let me know in the comments down below. Did, did Tara Strong voice Raven in this game too or no? We obviously know that the guy who voiced Cyborg from Teen Titans is obviously voicing him in this game. I mean, you can hear those infamous screams that he also has made in the Teen Titans series before, so we all know that. Which is great to hear. It's one of my favorite Cyborg voices anyway, so it's great to hear that. I'm gonna try to do some flying moves for the win. <laughs> oh, nice. Little kick. I wanted to perform some flying attacks for the win, even though it's not as good as on the ground, but I just thought I'd try something different. That's pretty cool. You could do a kick with Hot Girl if you press B while in the air. That was actually not a bad way to finish him. Like a missile drop kick almost. Alright, so Shazam is our fourth opponent, and it's kind of crazy how after we fight Shazam, his his nemesis Black Adam will be next. That's crazy. Shazam and Black Adam, huh? I think that's the first time I can remember I think I've ever faced Shazam and Black Adam as... as two of my ten opponents in classic battles. I'm not sure if that's correct, but that's just as far as I can remember. Anyway, we're fighting in Atlantis, Aquaman's home turf. Which is a little bit strange that we're fighting somebody who's not fighting somebody else other than Aquaman in his home in Atlanta, but it doesn't matter. I mean, it's, it's it, I mean, the game just picks random stages, so... Now, I really want to try to do a stage transition here, because I still swear that there is a stage transition in this game. I really still swear there is a stage transition in this game. I really want to perform it so bad, I, I have to show it. Because it's pretty good. Like I said, I really swear there is a stage transition here. I just keep missing it every time I try to go for it, whenever I'm playing the game. Oh, God. Oh, you got me. Dang it, I thought I jumped away from that for a moment. Dang it. Oh, well. I'm alright anyway. I mean, I'm way above the health. I mean, look at my health. I'm way above. So, no big deal. Well, let me try to break... Ow, damn you, Shazam. Okay, I don't know. Is there a stage transition here? I don't know. I really want to figure this out. Is there really a stage transition here or no? I could have sworn I thought there was. Anyway, let's finish Shazam off with my super movie, if, even if it's not really that good, but let's do it. Payback on Shazam. I guess maybe it's just, I don't know, I really could have sworn I thought there was a stage transition here on the stage. Maybe I'm just imagining things, I don't know. I really have no clue, because I remember there was a scene where Black Manta appears. Was it on this stage, or was it a different stage? I really do not know. I could have sworn there was a stage transition here. I really could have sworn. I just don't know, you guys. I really do not know. I'm just super confused. Anyway, enough of that. Let's just go ahead and just get into the next battle with Black Adam. Because I do remember there was a cutscene with Black Manta. Or unless if that was in Injustice 2. Maybe that was in Injustice 2, maybe. I'm not sure. I really do not know, guys, okay? I don't remember. But anyway, let's just take care of Black Adam. I did take a bit of a beating from Shazam because I got hit with a super move, as you saw the scars and cuts on Hawk Girl's body and arms and stuff. But 
It doesn't matter. I'm still fine. <laughs> Threw him into a different direction, kind of. She's got some okay attacks in the air, but her attacks are obviously not as good if you do it on the ground. Bam! Get into that building, Black Adam. That scream. Boom! Throw that little glass ceiling thing, whatever, for the win. Nice. Well, that's it for Black Adam, y'all, so now it's time to get to the next character. I wasn't actually paying attention who was next, so I better, I better see who it is. Aquaman. Alright. Would have been more appropriate if we would have fought Aquaman at his home turf Atlantis, but... Oh well. Anyway, looks like we're in Gotham City fighting Aquaman. That's a bit weird, but who cares? It's part of the game, you know, they pick random stages, so whatever. Anyway, things are going smoothly, of course, because I have it on very easy, so no stress at all, which is the way I like it. Ooh, it's Regime Aquaman this time. Nice. Usually I get normal Aquaman, our world's Aquaman, but apparently it's kind of rare for me to get Regime Aquaman, but apparently this time it looks like we do get to fight Aquaman in his Regime costume. The Injustice World Aquaman. Nice. I still prefer our world's Aquaman costume more than the Regime one, but it's pretty cool how he appears different. I mean, he's got longer hair and he's got a beard. And he kind of, and you know, there's less orange on his outfit compared to our world's Aquaman, so at least it makes it easier to tell the difference, you know, between our world's Aquaman and Regime Aquaman, or Injustice World's Aquaman, should I say. Every, I'm trying to put him in the stage transition, but he's fighting back. There we go, finally, jeez. It's like the AI sometimes knows when they're going to get into the stage transition. They're trying to fight back so they don't get hit. I swear to God, Aquaman was literally seeing it coming and he was trying to fight back as much as possible. I swear to God, he just knew it was coming. Kick you in the face. <laughs> Alright, I want to try to perform the super move if I can. I'm going to scoot back and perform this evade move a couple times so I can charge it up. Then again, it might not actually work, because look how low his health is. If I do this attack, it might KO him. Oh, nope, okay. It'll work. Because if your opponent's too low on health and you try to perform the super move, it's just going to land that, that grab. It's just going to kill him instead of performing the whole super move. So that would have sucked. But thankfully, it worked. I was a bit worried to think it wasn't, but I just thought I'd try it. And it worked. I mean... I feel like I shouldn't be performing Hawk Girl super move that much because it's not even that good of a super move anyway, but <sighs> it doesn't matter. It really does not matter. It really does not at all. So I shouldn't really get too concerned about if I should finish them, my opponents off with that move or not. But anyway, we're in the Watchtower now and we're fighting Killer Frost. The last time we were on this stage, I actually forgot what the stage was called. Like, I was actually trying to remember what this place was called, but I forgot. But shortly after I finished the video, I did remember what it was called. Like, I remember from Young Justice when Speedy said it himself from the first episode. I was like, oh, the Watchtower, that's what this thing's called. Yeah, I don't know how I forgot the name, but that's what it's called, the Watchtower. I remember now. So, yeah, this is the Watchtower. And look at that, Martian Manhunter, of course. There as usual. Watching us fight. Ah! Throws me. Anyway, I gotta... I need to get closer. Hawko doesn't really have that good of attacks to go really close to the opponents. When I'm standing a bit too far or standing a little bit further away, it doesn't really land. I need to get closer to my opponents because some of the attacks are not really hitting them because I'm not... See it like that because I'm not close enough. I have to be like super, super close to hit the attacks with Hawko. It's kind of lame, to be honest. Oh, I threw a hammer, but I missed. There we go, got that one. Let's do it again. Oh, I missed it because she was still ducking. Let's do another attack. I'm going to perform some more special moves now. Ah! What the heck? 
Yeah, it was just before my flying drop kick for the win. I was trying to figure out some of the special moves, but there was just quite a few numbers of them I could do, so I just decided, you know what, I'm just gonna fly and just do that drop kick. So yeah, you can see the you can see why I'm not a big fan of Hawk Girl. Her her moves, her special attacks aren't really that good. She doesn't really have that many good moves compared to other characters. That's why I don't play as her that often and why she's my least favorite superhero. She really doesn't have that many good attacks. Unless if y'all like her, that'd be different. But for me personally, I don't really like Hawk Girl. I'm not a big fan of her. Like I said, she's an okay, decent character to play as, but you can just see by me performing her special moves and me landing attacks, it's just not as good as some of the other characters, so I really don't like her that much. Like I said, she's okay, but just based off of how I'm performing with her, you can just really tell how bad I'm kind of performing. You know, I'm kind of performing almost terribly with her in a way, should I say. Anyway, Solomon Grundy. Sticking to his normal costume where he looks like the Hulk, because he got the purple pants on. I still prefer him in his Solom in his boss man Grundy outfit because that's just the way how I see Hulk Solomon Grundy in his boss man suit because he he's a boss, you know, he's wearing the hat and the suit. So I still prefer that costume. But even here, this is kind of funny just for the fact that he looks like the Hulk in this costume, you know. Every time I just see him in this costume, I always think he looks like the Hulk. I literally always think that, because he really just looks like him. Now, even though he doesn't completely sound like the Hulk some either, he kind of sometimes sounds a little bit like him in, in some of his growls and roars and stuff, so he kind of sounds like him sometimes, too. I have to admit on that. Did I not hit him with that? Wow. I'm surprised I missed. Oh, boy. He's going to try to perform his super move. Actually, this is easier. I can just fly from him. This is actually just easier. I can just easily go up in the air as high as I want and just fly from him. <laughs> and you can go, so that's the highest you can go with Hawk Girl. All right. It's kind of cheap that I'm flying, but it's actually way better. I was like, oh, wait a minute. I can fly with Hawk Girl. I can just do that instead. That was way easier to escape because I could just easily fly. But anyway, I wanted to bring him over here to go the stage transition with Killer Croc. The Penguin, Two-Face, the Riddler, and once again, Killer Croc. Oh, I missed it. Oh, let me get that flower. Thank you. I threw it. Yeah, with characters that are strong like Hawk Girl, they'll just lift up and pick opponents up and throw them at them. If they're characters like Green Arrow who are not that strong, they'll just find another way to use it so you know if, if i wasn't hawk girl if i was like green arrow or something all i just would have done was just step on like the veins and the mist would have came out of the flower but never mind so we're almost done here apparently we're getting very close we only got two more opponents left to defeat we got the flash and then we got as always for the final boss is our 10th opponent redeem superman <laughs> how appropriate <laughs> For our, for our second to last opponent, Flash is wearing the Regeen costume. Nice. Not only do we have to face the fastest man alive as our second to last opponent before we meet Superman, he's also wearing the Regeen costume. Nice. I do like his Regeen costume way more than his actual costume that we saw at the, the screen, so I'm actually happy about this. Since I, especially for the fact that even when I played as the Flash in one of my previous videos, I did pick him in his Regeen costume, because it just looks way cooler than his normal costume. I just had to select him in his Regeen or Regeen costume. It just looked awesome. The design and everything just looked way cooler. I had to. I was kind of being a cheap spammer there. I was just throwing those, those barrels or wherever at him. <laughs> Let me get this thing. I want to get this thing. Up on the ceiling! <laughs> I love that. I love that item. It just launches them up into the ceiling. It's just amazing. Let me throw my hammer for the win. Two times. I love that little that object. You can just launch them right into the ceiling and they'll just come back down crashing. It's so awesome. I love it. Oh, that's amazing. It's just funny to me just how they disappear for a moment because they get launched all the way up to the ceiling and they just disappear. It's funny. Anyway, with the Flash taken care of, now we're on to the final boss, Regime or Regime Superman, however you call it, say it. Superman is our last opponent, and as always, we're facing him in his home turf, the Fortress of Solitude. So let's do it. And you see Regime Doomsday locked over there in the little cell thing. 
All right, Superman. I'm ready for you. Even if you do land a few attacks and prove to maybe be a little bit of a challenge, I'll still get you because this is on very easy difficulty, so no stress at all. If this was on a harder difficulty, however, this would have been a lot harder for me to face him. Would have been a lot harder for me to take care of him if this was on a different difficulty. I will admit that. So yeah, that's that little transition you do, you have to press the R button while the opponent's in the air in order to teleport them. I learned that recently from one of my previous videos where I was trying to figure out how to activate that and turns out you have to press the R button while the opponent's in the air to teleport them into like that little phantom zone thing for a little while. Pretty cool, I like it. What did Hulk Girl say? I didn't actually quite hear what she said there to be honest, but never mind. Off you go, Starro. I may actually want to try to perform my special move for the win. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it because I'm kind of way far up ahead, as you can see. Superman might even hit me with a super move, so I gotta be careful because he might actually try to hit me with a super move because I keep stalling so much. Yeah, it's probably going to cost me. He's probably going to try to hit me with a super move and I'm going to end up jinxing myself an opportunity. Anyway, let's try it. I don't know if he'll let me. Ah! I have to press these two buttons, yeah. It wasn't working at first for some reason, but never mind, we got him. This isn't the perfect way to finish him off, but since it is a super move, it's better than nothing. So there we go, guys. Regime, Regime Superman is taking care of it. He doesn't even move a muscle. That's nice. I like it. He's just laying there dead. Well... We always get to see the scene, as always, whenever we defeat Regime Superman, so... As we all know, he's taken care of and he's defeated, and that creature, yep, comes in to banish him to the Phantom Zone. Excuse me, I burped. Banish him to the Phantom Zone, and there, see you by Superman. Regime Superman. And now, guys, here's Hot Girl's ending. Free on this brainwashing, Hot Girl exacted revenge on the High Counselor for murdering her husband, Hawkman. She was nevertheless sent to prison for her role in the regime. One night, she awoke hovering above her cot, glowing with eldritch light. An instant later, she stood at the bottom of a shallow crater. There, she found the source of the light, a meteorite of pure earth metal. As she touched it, the meteorite sprung to life, encasing her in earth metal. The new armor made Hawk Girl invincible. Her first act, vengeance against those who had helped Superman capture Hawkman. Wow. I don't even know what that thing is, but she's Metal Hawk Girl all of a sudden now. That's crazy. So yeah, that's basically Regeem Hawk Girl's ending, just to let y'all know. So if we were to face play with Hawk Girl in the Regeem costume, would have made a little more sense, but it doesn't matter. So that was really Regeem Hawk Girl's ending. Although I find it funny that even though that's really Regeem Hawk Girl's ending, when you saw her touch the metal and she gets her costume back as well as become metal, you see she was wearing our World Hawk Girl's costume, so it's kind of a weird ending because it's really Regeem's Hawk Girl, but yet she's wearing our World's Hawk Girl's costume when she turns into metal. It's kind of weird, but the point of what you heard from the story, it's really Regeem Hawk Girl's ending, so it doesn't matter. But anyway, that takes care of that. So, ladies and gentlemen, Hawk Girl was the final superhero we had to complete for Injustice Gods Among Us on the Classic Battles Very Easy Difficulty. So, with Hawk Girl being the last superhero we played as, we just finished it. So, all the superheroes are now taken care of. So, when we come back in the next video, ladies and gentlemen, in three days, I'll start playing as all the supervillains to go through Classic Battles on Very Easy. And then when we do all the supervillains, then we'll be on ready to go on to story mode. So, we're kind of almost like sort of halfway done with the Classic Battles Very Easy Difficulty with all the characters. So see you next. So I'll see you next time in the next video, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be taking three days off, as I said earlier in the beginning of this video. So stay tuned for when I'm back in three days, because I gotta let my phone and camera heal for a little bit, like take a rest from making these videos. Hopefully, maybe it'll do better in the next video in three days. But if not, if it still does the same thing in three days when I make the next video, then I'll have to take off for a week to see if it'll do better. But anyway, if you watched the beginning of the video, you know how what I'm gonna be doing now. So anyway, my points. Of what I said earlier is taken care of, but 
once again, we completed all the superheroes for classic battles. Very, diff very easy difficulty. So stay tuned for the next video, and we'll start getting into all the supervillains, ladies and gentlemen. But until then, for the until I'm back with the next video, I'm out of here, y'all. So I'll see you next time. That'll be it for today, guys. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Just like to give it a thumbs down. Join me next half in the next video. To all you boys, men, and guys out there, boom, fist bumps get all of you. And to all the girls, ladies, and women out there, kiss to all of you. But until then, this is Joe Flash signing off, and have a good day.